wow, this is so nice. Good job, holy cow. It just could not be nicer. Gary gets the shower done, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. We didn't mind the floor before. No, there was no plan to redo the floor, fix the shower, and now the floor needs to be done right. So, <laughs> because the floor didn't match the shower, so now it does. Yeah, it was kind of all those different colored tiles. Yeah. So, yeah. At the time when we put that in, that was a cool floor. Yeah, it really yeah. was. And you had done it in a very unique way because we had leftover tile from various projects. Four different projects, four different sets of tile went into making that patchwork tile that looked really cool. Just not working anymore. No. Nope. If we are gonna get this bathroom and bedroom done before the next kid comes along, we're gonna stop working on the van for a little while and really focus in on getting this bathroom finished up. Yeah. What we're gonna work on next in the bathroom here is gonna be the floor. Yeah. We talked about and thought about trying to move the toilet. It's not worth the labor to flip the toilet this way because we have to actually move all the plumbing over. So yeah. the toilet's gonna stay there. I don't think we really want it facing the door. Even if it looked better, it just seems wrong. <laughs> So I think what we need to do is patch some of these soft spots up. We got one here, then there's a hole for the old furnace system. And then we're gonna lay hardy backer down, red guard, tile, just like we did on the shower. Cool. Got the floor patched. I think it's gonna be solid enough now. Let's start laying down some hardy backer, huh? Yeah. And I put some glue down, but I think this piece is gonna fit right here. Have to trim, so. As long as it's exactly five foot, I think. Let's see if she fits, huh? Yeah. Do we get a scratch on the tongue now, too? Ooh, nice. Screws. Well, it was like a fountain in here. I was just trying to clean up in here. Yeah, it's getting kind of dusty. Yeah. Yeah, I scratched your wall a little bit. That's all right, we all have to touch up everywhere. Well, at least it fits. Yeah, it looks great. Well, let's get this one screwed down too. Karen got the last piece cut. Put some glue down. This one last piece is gonna have to be glue. So we're <laughs> being careful mm -hmm. that we're gonna run out. We got the party backer all on. Cool, so now we just gotta tape seams and red guard it. I think we're gonna do that. I don't know if it's needed or not, but maybe it'll give us a little more structure. There's no reason to not. As it is with a lot of projects, you do things the old way until you figure out a new way. So I started out just chipping and banging on this tile with a maul and a chisel. Gee, this is slow. That was just like taking forever. And all the years I've been doing stuff like this, I haven't had a really cool tool for that. I got a new cool tool for that pneumatic tool that will take it up perfectly. You were working on that. It was just popping tile up, popping tile up. You got it done! Just a little more. Just a little bit of more mix together. Okay, wow. The thin set came up really nice with that. Saved you a little time anyway. Probably hours and hours, maybe days. I could be still doing it right now. <laughs> We have something super exciting happening tonight, and it is the Christmas star that is going to be showing up. Yep. Jupiter and Saturn yes. are coming together. Do you know more about this? I'm just kind of... No, but yes. They've been doing a V, and now the V is there, yeah. and it creates the star of Bethlehem showing up in the sky, which is super yeah. exciting. I feel like I need to go out and hurt some animals. Hurt some animals? Yeah. I love it. And building a manger. Yeah, and like waiting for a huge ensemble of angels to... Yeah. Where is my frankincense and mark? That's yeah. all I gotta say. Yeah. Okay, we got see that, it. Though. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go see it. We keep talking about it. Let's do it.
Now that we got the hardy backer all in, I'm gonna take and use some of that same tape that we used on the shower walls. This stuff, tape all the seams and red guard all the seams. I'm not sure if it's just a shower thing or a floor thing. I am gonna do it on the floor because we have all the stuff. And I think that with sheetrock, you tape and mud all the seams, that way it doesn't crack. And I'm kind of thinking that that may apply to this as well. As much as we can get all the pieces of hardy backer to move in uniform, the less cracking we may end up having in the future on our tile. Here, here's your wrench. No, not the That's dead. Oh, nice. We can set you down on the floor now. Yeah, it's so much cleaner in here. You're going to have to head out there, kiddo, because i got to do the red guard, and that stuff is smelly. I did it. Yeah. I did it. Hey, Dad, what's happening? Oh, I'm just... Wow, that still, that still works pretty good. Yeah. This is just knocking the heads off of some of these things I might have missed. My towel is a little bit nice and easy. Yeah. And last go clean up. Super cool, that. And then it was time to start laying tile for the rest of it. Completion of the actual tub install did require just a little bit of tile there to face that off. It fits over to put it in here once. Okay. No mice allowed. Okay, I'm about ready to get the layout finished here so that we can go ahead and start laying the tile. How exciting, huh? I like the tile that you picked out. Looks like, good. Yeah, the color, yeah. it's going to match really nice with the shower. Hey. Wow. Dad, that looks awesome. Looks straight. <clears throat> Look at you, I'm almost done. It's the same kind of an idea with elongated types of tile. I kept the design so that the shower is running kind of lengthways this way, and then when I got to the floor, I just ran it lengthways this way. So when you walk in, it just kind of gives you a, a larger appearance of what oh, uh, a small bathroom. And there's two there, can you see it? The bright one and the one to the right. The dull one is Saturn, the big one is Jupiter. Yeah, I'm telling really? you, that's it. You know, it looks like a plane. It does because it's so bright. You just can't miss it in the sky, can you? No. It's unbelievable. It's right there. What's interesting about this star, it's in the constellation Aquarius. And according to the Hebrew Maseroth, it means blessings are coming. Hmm, that's awesome. A perfect end to this year. Yeah. Blessings are coming. We've had ourselves some 2020 vision, and then we're heading into blessing. You, yes. you can't ask for better. Yes, that is amazing. That is an amazing star. The red guard's all good and dry, so I'm gonna run out and grab the tile. I think we're gonna end up using this one right here. Oh, these might be 18 inches, 24 inches, something like that. Um, so they're really big tile for the room. The bigger tile might actually work out better. I don't know how all the tile science works. My guess is it's somewhere around maybe 80 or 90 square foot. I think we have about 100 and some change in this tile. So we'll probably need at least another box, but well, let's try it with four first. This is the stack of grout and thin set we got with the tile. I wonder what the difference between dry set and thin set is, huh? Maybe I'll look that up real fast and see. I have done about a half hour of research. It's supposed to be easy, and I've come to the conclusion that it is way too complicated. So, read the back of the bag. This one's just using water. It's modified, maybe the wrong one. It may be the right one, but we're gonna use it. Another uh, prop for future Darren and Ellie situation. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd think we'd learn, but nope. I don't know why they put water first, but it's what the box says to do. It's so cold, it's frozen. Oh no, no. So this is Flex Bond. This is exactly what you should be using in this scenario. I don't care what anyone says. I know exactly <laughs> what to do in this room. <laughs> you might want to pick a more uh, believable amount of yours, babe. Those chunks in there, these don't matter. They're gonna go right in, you watch this. It's how you know you got good modified dry set, thin set stuff. Let's just call it glue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you cut good tile glue. That's what we called it back then. And now all these new young guys are out there calling it all their fancy names. It's tile glue. It's a little six and three eighths piece. Almost so, done, huh? Getting there, yeah. Finish this up. Love it.
glass piece. As with all tile projects, you gotta put some grout in. Went ahead and mixed up some grout, uh, sponging that in and getting that all set up. Doesn't take much time. When you put that grout in, I always think, wow, it looks like that's been there forever. Just, finishes it, doesn't it? really it? finishes yeah. it, yeah. It's looking really nice. I like the bright color of it too. I think that's really a nice touch for the bathroom. There's nothing like putting a brand new toilet in. It's clean, easy to work around. You feel differently <laughs> putting a new one in. So it was nice to be able to get the toilet in and get that set. Looks like a bigger star than anything that's out there, though. Look at. But there's something, the something close next to it, though, too, right? It's two planets together. Are we getting her cleaned up? Yeah, doing one final sweeping before we put the top down, huh? Go check the stuff. Give it another mix, I think, huh? So, I think we do a quarter of an inch, or I need to go grab my little spacers, huh? Okay, I got one of the complicated ones all marked out. See if we can cut it right. The hard part is getting this one out. <laughs> okay, test one, but now we have a pattern. Let's try this again. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do the work unless I can get this one right. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It's perfect. Oh, this is gonna look so cool. It's in, yeah. I've got a toilet in now. I'll sweep the floor up a little bit here and then work on getting a design for this corner sink that we want to put in here. The bathroom is just coming together really nice. It's got two functioning parts of it now. I know you're gonna be working on the sink area. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna have a wood cabinet that will set underneath a concrete top. And I think I'll do a concrete sink too. It's gonna be a fun little bathroom. We were a little hesitant to put tile on the mobile home floor, and really we hadn't planned on doing it when we first thought about doing the bathroom. But after coming across this tile and all the thin set and grout and everything we needed to do the tile in the bathroom, we just decided to send it and put it in. I started doing some research on it and it did seem like people were doing it. We've done our best to hold it down and I think, you know, there's probably better ways to do it, but. See how this one turns out. I think it's gonna do good. It's gonna be really cool to have it in here. Tile's been drying for about 24 hours. I'm gonna go in and get all the grout done and finish this floor up. Oops, yeah, just, just rub that in. Ah, you won't even notice. I'm really excited to get this far on the project. Now we just gotta put a sink and cabinet and the toilet, really, you know? Yeah, grout's done. Yeah, it looks amazing. Can't believe how good it turned out. The bathroom, coming along really good. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. See Merry Christmas. Next time, next time. Oh, oh, oh what? 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 Yeah, what? Oh, we stopped. <laughs> <laughs> we just Merry Christmas. Everybody a really yeah. great Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Being safe, Merry Christmas. having fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. A so, super Christmas season. A super Merry yeah. Christmas. Yep. Oh, my. <laughs>
gonna look in the bedroom. The bathroom, coming along really good. Yeah. Check this out. Did you see it? Did you see him? He's a woodpecker. It's called the Christmas star. Yeah, I wasn't around back then, but. Yeah, exactly. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I have to show, because I'm so proud of my son, but look at, he made these on the 3D printer. Can you see them? Aren't those so cool? Oh, I'm so excited and brief. And you the Bryson made me a set of llamas. <laughs> I got a little dingly and studs, which are super awesome. I'm so excited. You did this so on the cool. 3D printer and then did that little heater thing at the end. Is that what you did, right? Yeah, or the, the, the keering the the, with the UV light. Oh, they're just so cool. I love them. Oh, Saddle. yeah, yeah, you like the I mean? little fancy saddle. That's so cute. I can't oh, wait to wear them. Exciting. <laughs> Good job, <Bryce. laughs> I can go put them on right now.